I'm an agronomy specialist with the Canola Council of Canada and my name is Warren Ward, uh, based in eastern Saskatchewan. We're looking mainly at nitrogen management and the reasoning for that is last fall we had some challenging weather conditions and a lot of growers who would have normally done some fall nitrogen application didn't get the opportunity to do that so now we're looking at trying to squeeze a lot more into this growing season than, than would normally be the case for, for some people. With nitrogen one of the largest factors I, in my mind is the environment, uh, in particular moisture. So we do know the peak uptake period occurs kind of starting just after that five or six leaf stage in canola. So as it starts bolting, uh, it's rapidly growing and that's when it's using the most nitrogen per day of its life cycle. So we do want to have our nitrogen available to the plant by that, by that stage. So now whether it was applied at seeding or some of it at seeding and some of it coming in, in crop as a top dress, that's you know that's kind of the deadline that we have to get it on and, and available. Uh, we do have some treatments too where we're trying to protect it, looking at things like agritain. But again, even even some of these uh, nitrification inhibitors or, or protectors of, of the nitrogen are not uh, they're not bulletproof. In fact, if we don't get that rain timely, even with some of those products, we still can see some losses. So there really is no one size fits all. Everybody's going to have a little different uh, optimum practice or, or way of doing it, but just keep in mind when the plant is going to need the nitrogen available to it.